Hello, this is Louise. Um, so today's tutorial um, shows you a fast and free method to turn your video's subtitles or closed captions into text that could be repurposed for blog posts and transcripts. There are two reasons why you might want to do this, um, to generate keyword use for SEO purposes and to respect your customer and client's um, preferences. And using the subtitle files in your existing videos means you can create content in a written format but without having to start from scratch. And that saves you lots of time, which means you can focus your attention on either creating words if you're an author or amending them if you're a proofreader or editor. So um, this is what you do. So first of all, you go to your YouTube channel and you select Create a Studio. I'm already in mine. Um, and then you click on your chosen video. And then you go to subtitles closed captions and then you click on this um, grey button here with the language of the published subtitles and then you go over to the actions button and you download download this SRT file and that's it you're done in YouTube now so now if you open up your downloads file then you'll see here the SRT file. So the first thing you need to do is to change that into a Word document. So I'm going to rename it with a dot .doc extension. Just ignore it when it says um, that it might become unusable because it doesn't. <laughs> so now we can open that. Um, if you get this come up, just go OK. And so what you see here is the original uh, subtitles version and um, now we need to get rid of a lot of the, the, the junk in here. Um, so first of all let's get rid of the timestamps. So what I've done is in the complimentary blog post with this I've given you all the search strings you need so I'm just going to go over to those now and I'm going to select the first search string which will I'll use to remove all these timestamps here. So if you open up Find and Replace, which is Control or Command H, and in the Find What box, you put the search string. And then in this box, you're just going to leave the, um, the Replace With box. You're just going to leave it blank. And then select Replace All. And so now you can see that your all those timestamps have gone. So now we need to get rid of all these stranded numbers. So again, we're going to open find and replace and we're going to put in this search string. And then we're going to leave this blank. And then we go replace all. Now you'll see that there's still some stranded numbers in here because um, some of the numbers were double digit. So we just need to run this again. And if you had triple digit numbers because your blog post, your, your vlog was really long, then you might need to repeat that process. So now we're going to get rid of these extraneous paragraph returns. So this time we're going to put like a search string carrot p carrot p in the find what box. And we're going to type a space in the replace with box. Now you'll still see that there are some paragraph returns we don't want. So the, the, there's just one this time. So let's just have carrot P as our search term. And the space remains in the, in the replace with box. And now all we need to do is to get rid of these extra spaces. So again, opening up find and replace, let's type two spaces in the top box and one space in the replace with and click replace all. And let's just check there are no more. I'm going to run it one more time. There, now it's all done. So now you've got a block of text that you can tidy up and copy and paste into the text editor on your website. And you can introduce things like paragraphs, bullet points, headings, and any supporting images for your blog article to make it look attractive. Um, but the point is that you've saved yourself a lot of time because you've, you've, you're not starting with a blank page. You've got the, the basic text um, uh, that you, is ready to edit. 
Now you will need to edit it. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, we don't speak like we write. <laughs> I'm always really shocked by how much I mumble, how fast I speak and how non-standard my grammar is when I see my speech in written form. Um, and although the auto subtitles generated by YouTube are pretty amazing given that they're free, um, a lot can go wrong. Um, still, you've got the basics, so um, your, the core material is ready and waiting for you. So I hope you found that useful um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.